And we begin at four with breaking news. A police chase ends in a deadly crash. This all happening along State Route 43 in Streetsboro. Right now, Route 43 is closed between Frost and Crane Center Drive. Investigator Jonathan Walsh is live at the scene. Jonathan, what can you tell us? Well, I'm standing here on State Route 43, and you're right, it is closed, and state troopers tell me it will probably be closed for another hour or so, and here's why. You can take a look at what's left of this fatal crash right behind me. It's about, I don't know, uh, 300 yards from where we're standing right now, and here's what we know from the highway patrol. This incident started at Aurora Farms as a suspected shoplifting situation. Security at Aurora Farms tried to stop the people, one man, one woman. They were able to get to their car, however, and leave the parking lot at a high rate of speed. Now, Aurora Farms security called Aurora Police, and state troopers tell me that that officer just happened to be in the area, saw the vehicle, gave chase a bit, and police followed them. The male driver clipped a UPS truck while going here on State Route 43, then hit an SUV from behind, lost control, and then hit this box truck that you see head on. The female passenger has died in this accident. The male driver has been taken to the hospital with injuries. The person who was driving that box uh, truck right there, we're told he was taken to the hospital with some injuries. The SUV was driven by an older gentleman in his 80s. He was taken to the hospital with some injuries to his head and to his back. And we also saw a UPS vehicle uh, taken away. Uh, uh, towed away from this scene, as a matter of fact. Now, we don't have any names or ages or anything of the suspects at this point. We are still gathering some information, but right now, yes, one person has died, a woman who was traveling in that suspected shoplifting car, and we will give you more details as they become available. Reporting live here in Streetsboro, I'm investigator Jonathan Walsh for The Now.